Right, so we've created our uh, let's check my microphone. Yep, created our cannons. So what I'm going to do now is create our kind of control unit, which will be behind the cannons, for if this is a portable unit. And uh, basically, it's just going to be a box. Convert to Apple Poly. And uh, if you ever seen a kind of military laptop, you'll know what this kind of thing's going to be like. Actually, I'm going to just check that's in the right place. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and decrease the size a little bit. Doing it manually by moving some verts. There and there. And then grab it there and there. Okay, that gives us that piece there. And I'll put some chunky ass buttons on it in just a moment. Now over on this side, I'm going to run some cylinders out. So there's one. And what I'm going to do is not convert it to an edible patch, convert it to an edible poly instead. Uh, do a quick bezel. I love messing around trying to get a bevel right. I mean, it makes my weak. Right, there we go. So that's uh, one of our cylinders. And I'll just copy it across three times. Because, of course, we've got three guns. Now, if I go into my uh, viewport here, I'm just going to really move this thing up rather than moving these down, I suppose. So. There we go, just move those onto the ground. Next, over here, I'm going to create three boxes. So, dummy using auto grid one, two, three. Now, over here, Create another three. One, two, three. And what I'm going to do is just attach these using a quick link so that if I rotate my guns. These will rotate too. Another thing I'm going to do is rotate, uh, connect these to these, and then I'm going to connect this one to the base. That way, if I move the base, they will move. Okay. Um, all right. So I want to build some hoses to go over there into these things. So our hoses are. Uh, that's dummy 4, and this will be dummy 3. So we're going to link dummy 4 and dummy 3 together using a hose, which I think is an extended. No, it's a dynamic. No, it's not. Where's hose gone? There it is. Extended. So let's grab it there. Bound object pivots. And was it three and four? So if I pick the top object as dummy three, and the bottom object as dummy four, 
Right, we now get this lovely snaking tube coming out, which is exactly what I want now. Got to change the width on this though. So, uh, dooby doo, where is it? Diameter, round hose. Here we are. Change it about there. Increase the size to about 12. We can increase the cycles or decrease them depending on what you want. I'm going to have about 5, I think. There we are. And uh, that should about do that piece. Now, what's good about this is that now if I move my gun, the hose also moves. See? Like that. Okay, uh, I didn't actually attach these bits on it either, so I'm going to do that quickly now. Now I'll do a quick grab here and link these in to my little box unit. That means I can move my box around now as well, by the way, which is quite useful. Right, now going to create a couple more hoses. There's another one and another one. And we need to connect these two. What is this dummy doing? It's not even in the right place anymore. Silly dummy. Right, so going to make a new dummy over here. Yeah, I thought as much. It's just not being made in the right place at all. That's better. So which dummy is that? That is dummy 5. And dummy 5 is going to connect to dummy 1 which should be down here somewhere. There it is. So, 1 and 5 connect together. Top point 1, bottom point 5. There we go, and we now have a second lovely big fat snaky hose. And I'll just uh, change the diameter on that and increase the sides just to make it look a bit nicer like so okay that's two now i need to build another one just inside here not quite that close in and i've got a dummy like so and that is dummy number six and dummy 6 is going to connect to dummy 2. So dummy 2 and dummy 6. That's quite a big fat old pipe, isn't it? And now I'll just reduce the uh, diameter, increase the sides a bit. There we go, like that. Now the good thing is, it means that I can angle this any old way I want, really. So there it is there. And I think, just to kind of do a little bit more needless and pointless detailing, I'll just do a quick minor inset there. And another one there. Okay. And what I can do as well is do an insert here. Just change this to local. Makes it a little bit easier. 
change our move coordinates to local as well. Quick inward bevel. A nice zero length one. Change this to view. Okay, and just bring this down. And then in here, just do another quick insert. I need to scale this a bit more because I want to make it more kind of square. Okay, now secondary insert. The quick mesh smooth. Grow, delete, cap. It's fun doing 3D. Okay. Extrude. Bevel. There we are, pull back. Now I can do an extrude again. Bevel. Extrude. Bevel. Extrude. Bevel. And just keep going until you get bored basically. I'm going to do about another five times on each. So that's one, two, three, four, Five. I'll not bother beveling the other side. If you really want to be clever, you could even animate it. But I'm not going to bother. There we go. And I'll just quickly do a smooth on it. And I'll just change its name to Control Unit. There we go. How much fun? A billion times. That's what it is. And I don't know, we've got a three second animation, so I've got an auto key. Do a quick set key. Give it a two second rise cycle. And then over here, I'll just drop those two like that. Okay, just to show you some of the fun things you can do. So if I just do a, there we go. See, fun with moving things about. Isn't it delightful? Go away. So basically I mean you've got control of like raising and lowering the guns. These are basically kind of mortars. They don't have any side to side action. But of course you can move your control box as much as you want. So you could have like a little array of them perhaps or you know. You could even build a really wide one to control decks of these things. The whole idea is though it's a perimeter defense kind of thing, yeah? I'll just put a plane down so we can see it like that. There we go. Turn off grid. 
check our left viewport. Okay, that's fine. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, replacement for our venerable minigun. It shouldn't have taken you too long to do. And uh, see you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.